Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to first position yourself a little bit about my journey. So 1990, I was studying film in the U.S., and I was trying to figure out how I was going to be able to make films. And at the time, films were made with 35 millimeters. They're very expensive. And uh, there was very, and, and it was like uh, me being from Brazil, you felt you would never be able to achieve. People in my country used to make fun of me and everything. But uh, so I kept, and I kept, I realized that you needed to get to money or, or else you would never be able to make your film. So every time I thought, I always had a commercial mind behind it. In film, in film school, I learned about pay-per-view. And that was fascinating to me because they thought that you could produce an event and get your money back in 90 days, unlike a movie that's two years. I felt that could be an easier sell. The price of a live show was much cheaper comparing to a movie, and the return on investment was much faster. So as I start to, to examine that industry, I bumped into mixed martial arts. I felt mixed martial arts was the right thing to do. At the time, Mike Tyson was a big hero, and he was, his fight shows were attracting $50, $60 million on box office. So picture you do a, you'd produce a fight in one evening, maybe a month of pre-production, and in 90 days you get that money. So that was the journey I embraced, pay-per-view. Fast forward, I graduated, I became a fight promoter, like Don King, I promoted many fights throughout the world, and YouTube was created. And um, I figured, at the time, there were two companies in America, was Request and Viewer's Choice. And together, they had the entire universe of pay-per-view, which was about a, 100 million homes in North America. So I, I used to think to myself, someday, every home in the world will have a, you'll be able to do a pay-per-view to 7 billion people, now 8. So fast forward, 2011, I was able to do a pay-per-view on YouTube. Uh, the event took place in Moscow, and it was live to the world. I became friendly with the gentleman that was the president of uh, YouTube Sports, and I was able to do a pay-per-view to the world, the first one that YouTube did. So that was um, technology helped me a lot with that.